This method can help answer key questions in the fields of neurology, clinical neurophysiology and psychiatry by determining neurophysiological signals that may serve as predictors of response to therapeutic interventions. If properly performed, this technique can monitor reliably and reproducibly changes in cortical excitability due to these therapeutic interventions. Demonstrating the procedure will be Stacy Sim, a research analyst from our laboratory. To start, first choose a cap that fits the participant's head well. Place the CZ electrode at vertex, halfway between the line connecting the nasian and inian. Ensure that all electrodes are tightly touching the scalp and are functioning. Next, adjust the blunt tip of a syringe and fill it with electroconductive gel. Place the tip inside the electrode hole and then lightly press the plunger until there is some paste on the skin. Then, scrub the scalp with the blunt tip and ensure that paste does not spill out over the top to avoid bridging. Prepare the ground and reference electrodes first. Check that the impedance is under 5 kiloohms for all electrodes. Electrode preparation determines the quality of the recorded brain signal and minimizes the need of signal processing methods that may remove both noise and brain signal crucial for its study. Now, place two disposable EMG disc electrodes with a diameter of about 30 millimeters over the right abductor pollicis brevis.